how high did you make it this season in NA? Um, 748 LP. I peaked this season. Quinn's in a good spot. Well, especially at the start of the season, she was a very good spot. I haven't played um, NA after the durability change, so I have to see what it's like after a durability change. I anticipate it's still pretty good, though. Quinn's win rate's around the same as it was. It's just about adapting. Bark Rush just seems like a good item. They did change a lot, to be honest. It's about adapting. I mean, I love this shield bow fucking meta, bro. I loved it. It's too bad that we can't run it anymore. But hey, the game's always about changing, right? So, and the thing about League is adapting. The Talon runes? Wait, oh, his runes, Phase Rush. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're playing LAS, man. These guys play random stuff. I don't know. I don't know if that's good. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe you got that for Skarner? You guess he sucks still? No, no, don't worry about that. It's not about that. It's about getting, it's just about adapting. I wouldn't say suck, just about adapting. Like, it's like they changed the whole the whole meta, to be honest, with the durability change. So you have to adapt. You're used to the other playstyle, probably. You're used to the old playstyle. It's like you're playing a different champ. Everything's different in the game right now. All builds, all runes. When you play the game, everyone's tankier. If you're behind, it's harder to play from behind now with durability change because everyone's fucking tanky as shit. Kills that you can get otherwise, you can't get them when you're behind because they're just so much tankier. Oh shit. Good word. Bro, 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 bro. Wait, I can snag this one or no? No, no. I wanna get that. I wanna snag this one. Oh my gosh, that flash. Oh, I started W. Hey, Garen's walking this way. Encuéntrame el camino. Hang on, can I catch Garen? I had a feeling I could. Did he flash? Nah, well, he's low, but he's got his dumb passive. I lose a lot of XP for that trade. I don't know where it's worth if I f kill him. I don't know if he flashed. Wait, what the fuck? He's walking out. Fucking ballsy, Garen. The fuck? I'm the word, though. The face trick him. I just want to get his passive. I have second win. I have to get his passive. Hmm. I gotta kill assist out of it. Or oh, get two off that minion. Normally. Garen's playing the hide under tower. Yep, get the passive. Two autos and an Q. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ch -ch 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 Valor to me. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. See you later. Yo, love blue and flipping stupid. Thank you both for the tier ones. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Vanguard. Hope you both enjoy your stay. It means a lot. Welcome. There's no way that Garen is staying when he has TP. No, no, but the reason he's staying is because he's passive. He's his passive. No, he's smart and kept Garner's path on top. Valor, he's not Garen, he's bad for him to stay. But he is his thing. You can tell he's ghost, we're playing Garen scaling champ. Yeah, you need that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, this guy pings too much. I'm going to mute his ping. Appreciate that a lot, flipping stupid man. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it. And thank you a lot, Love Blue, too. Welcome, guys. Welcome. We're going to have no emotes coming soon. Uh, do we think that he's top? Let's try to force a freeze here. Garen's passive just probably heal him up to full HP. Yeah. That's the thing. It was pretty durability change. He would have died there on that level one fight. Wanted to get his passive a little bit. He's baited his W. That was a bad Garen W. You don't want to waste Garen W. You want to good Garen players know how to save it. Aw. Oh. 
the tier prop. Flash silence me? No, he's not. Oh, he is. Unflinching. I probably didn't have to flash that, to be honest. Can I go over here? Return kill? And that's how we do a baby just like that. Unflinching kind of smurfed that right there. Unflinching is not bad in this matchup, eh? I'm gonna TP. I'll just keep the wave like this. Nah, I can't. Fuck, like, I should have just shoved it. It's okay. I'm Garen with a flash. What's he gonna do 1v1? As long as it's 1v1, we're okay. Let me just shove the wave. Okay, Harrier props. I'm gonna go tier 2 boots after this. I'll get broken if I get Berserker boots. Match is very hard for me. Uh, I'm a Quinn main heart's not gold. You'll get there, bro. You'll get there. Keep pushing, man. Quinn is in a solid spot right now. It's just about adapting, like I was saying um, to person before who brought that up, but definitely a different kind of game when we're playing this patch or this dur after durability change. We'll get there though. What's up, Rekka? Welcome to stream. Why do you have to fall so many years? Well, you see how I play around the Harriers and the bushes and I play around my W and Ignite. I have vision the whole time. That's the important thing when you're playing Quinn. The whole time I have vision because I'm playing my... But even without a ward, you don't even need a ward, you have vision in the bush the whole time. A lot of top players like using that bush cheese, right? Where you don't have vision of them and... They try to use that at advantage, but like the whole time I had vision because I staggered my Harriers correctly. That's kind of how you want to play Quinn. You want to make sure you're staggering Harriers correctly in the bushes and using Ignite too. So you have vision the whole time in those bush fights. Passive marks him and have vision when he walks in the bush. Oh, I should have went pickaxe. I actually do no damage with this. Boots are us this early I think are kind of bad to be honest after durability change and learning. I don't do any damage. I don't do any damage. I think I got at least a pickaxe before I get the boots. I'm gonna match up like Garen, like it's just freaking broken. I go faster, I might catch this, yep. A lot of attack speed and get more PTA procs. What's a dive? Ooh. I might go boots rush more often. I think they are valuable though. This is Q. I missed the Q. I briefed that. Oh, but the jungle's here. Yeah, the jungle's here. Doesn't matter. It's good that we didn't. I fucked it up because we would have got baited into a really bad dive. Can we got the asso. Use your attack champion or attack champions only icon when you're roaming, so you don't actually click a minion leave vault. I've been doing that a lot more. I didn't ignite because I didn't have to. Why ignite if we don't have to? Little tax, sorry, Talon. Yeah, Boots Rush, bro, might do it more often on Quid. It makes you ungankable, makes you able to get speed to get that Edel Z's off. Just makes you fucking broken in these top lane matchups when you have Boots. Ooh, Garen's trying to cheese me. Vision in the whole time. We got the Boots. Yeah, nah, I'm going tier 2 boots more often. It's actually just fucking broken on Quinn. Tier 2 boots and, uh, are like a priority for getting them early. The only time we stop, the only reason we stopped doing this is because of that wits end meta. It's the only reason. But honestly, as I'm building wits end a little bit less, I think that boots are broken as a rush. Because you guys see that. It's just kind of fucked for these matchups when you have speed on them. <laughs> just kind of doomed for them. Nah, nah, it doesn't work when you're ahead and when you're behind. It doesn't matter. It makes good anytime. You get more P. It helps you get your PT proc. You get a lot of attack speed too. 
You get it like if you play off PTA proc, you can get them easily. You have a movement speed to catch up to them, and you have a lot of attack speed to dagger the, the thing. Vam scepter first. I'll so get the Vam scepter obviously, and then go for it. Some matchups just boots are just broken. It doesn't matter if you're ahead or behind. Like Garen, bro, if I have tier two boots, the fuck is Garen? Bro, what's Garen gonna do if I have tier two boots? Like literally, what is he gonna do? Like actually, there's nothing he can do. If I am, if I'm, I'm already faster with W. Imagine if you have the tier two boots. I guys should. I used to build them a lot more, but I kind of stopped. Thank you, uh, Garrus. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. The only reason I stopped is because the wits and meta, like I said. Bark with tier two boots are just really good together. Mm. How much attack speed do you get, boys? Look at this. And we're going bark rush. We get a lot of attack speed with that too, so we get a lot of uh, out of our PTA product. Garen's got flash. Alright, you can recall. I'll let you recall. If you have tier 2 boots, you can escape ganks. They're the easiest as well, too. So you can just shove them under tower and not have to worry about dying to ganks. If I have tier 2 boots, I can just push up like crazy and then if they just try to gank me, I have a better chance of living. I can just play the shove game because I'm slippery. I'm a slippery bird. I got I'm flinching, so if they try to silence me or CC me, I have tenacity and slow resistance. If they have any slows, makes you even slipperier. This is the shove them under tower. I should have blow warded blue buff. Go around mid again. A member put the attack champions only click on so that you don't actually click the scrying orb or a scuttle crab in the vault. Okay. Talon watches under tower, watches in the room. Doesn't matter if it's awarded. If you walk up, we kill him. But he watches me under tower. Satch. Dark Harvest bad on coin. You don't really make use of it. Can't really proc it too much, to be honest. You you're basically playing without a keystone. This is the freeze check. Does Garen know how to freeze? Nope. I give him a chance to freeze. He doesn't freeze. So there you go. Now that. Never have to worry about getting a bad back now because this guy doesn't know how to freeze. Apply that in your games, boys. You guys are playing low elo. You give him a chance of freezing and he doesn't freeze, he doesn't know how to freeze. So that means that you never have to worry about a bad back because he doesn't know how to freeze. Talon. He's gonna recall. Like you, we can go. Okay, true, just recall. True. I clap back fade away. I should've used my Bork on that guy. I bork up soon. Got the tier two boots. Oh, the tier two boots are fucking broken on quit, eh? Nah, I, I like the board, dude. I like the tier two boots, man. They're actually cracked. That's how I always used to play Quinn, but I think it's even better now with this new iteration of board. Quinn with speed is just kind of like a broken thing. Eh? That's a clap back, fade away, boom, the Bork's slow. Not much you can do there. Or a slippery burp. Ezreal does more damage to towers than me. I guess he's got his machine proc. Garen's saying, oh, we're in Skarner's day. Let's go. Put this attack champions only click on. Oh, what? How did I not leave ult? What the fuck? Wait, what? Dude, dude what the fuck? Dude, why didn't I leave ult? He blast coned me in ult. I never, I always leave ult. Dude, why did I not get kicked out of ult? I got blast coned in Valor form and not leaving ult. That never happens. That always takes you at all. Did you guys see that? Like I got blast coned in alt form. It never does that. It always takes me at all there. Am I tripping? That's not supposed to do that. I got a what the fuck? 
You always get taken on your ult and blast cone. Maybe it was the angle. Maybe I learned something if that's the case. I didn't know that. If you get the perfect angle, you can blast cone staying and all. That's huge if so. That's huge. That's fucking huge if you can use blast cone and be an all. Obviously, someone else has a click it, of course. But still, that's fucking huge. It's Garner coming top. I have a lot of gold. Oh, pretty soon. Yeah, I usually get an ult. You always do. Welcome to the stream, by the way. You always do, bro. Always. I've never had that's never happened. I played Quinn so long. That's never happened. Is that a glitch or is that fucking like perfect like angle where it worked like it? Okay, I can get that. And a flash on me, yes sir. Predictable. But now I do it. Now I do it. Now two people can flash on each other. <laughs> two people can do a baby. I wait for my Bork and my Harrier proc. I flash when my Harrier comes up. Oh. Ouch. Ah, uh, can I get that Harrier? No. I had a lot of gold. I fucking whole mythic in the bank. Gotta, gotta buy that, bro. I was right on the edge, but it, I'm trying to see if it's like, if it's like mimicable. Like if I could do that again. Like that's the thing I'm trying to wonder. Cause bro, if I could do that again, that changes the whole game. Cause like if I'm trying to like get make a gank with someone, obviously someone else has to click the blast cone. But if I get the perfect angle, I can blast cone over in fucking Valor form. That's broken. That's broken. I can just sit right there. Someone can hit me over and I can be in bird form. Because otherwise you have to channel. Or you just can't hit the blast cone because you will be in bird form. You need a fucking three second channel, two second channel. It was time for that. And you're trying to gank. Okay, side steps, everything would kill. Boom! Yeah, that's greedy if I go for that though. Ah, it's a clap back fade away right there. Legendary old. What the heck was my E? Oh, I might attack champions only on. Yeah, don't forget to turn that on. But he loses masters. How can you have motivation to play with idiots? Uh, mute all. I have chat off every game. Look, see? Turn chat off. Mute their pings when they're tilted. Teams AFK. Nah, fucking tier two boots are broken, man. There's another patch knows that blast comes are re re recoded. No way they fucking changed. Yeah, because there was no. I've never seen it in my life. So basically, they changed blast cones how they programmed it. So that means that we can never be taken out of alt and blast cone. Too bad we can't auto attack. Because that would be fucking nice if I could auto attack and stay in alt. There's no way you could do it yourself, right? There's no way you can hit a blast cone when you're in alt. Yeah, think about yourself. Think about how you're going to carry them. Think about win cons. Mute all when they're tilted. That's how you play and carry. So, wait, they changed it. That's crazy, man. That's just insane. I made Yasuo rage quit, by the way, with our Rome's mid. See you and me like a whole